Here's an approach. MGTOW is the default hypothesis. Now, all men are born as MGTOW in that when they are born and in the early years of their lives, they don't require or consider a committed relationship with a woman. As boys grow, they are not interested at all in girls. In fact, they avoid them in pursuit of hobbies, playing and getting into playful rivalries and uh, honorable antagonisms with other boys. Because this is how men make true friendships and through adversity, they grow and excel. Sure, uh, as hormones kick in during uh, puberty, they notice girls, but uh, only uh, on a physical level. The Disney romance emotional attachment or the financial slash legal bondage aka marriage brainwashing notion are never a need until peer pressure brings them up. In today's day and age, women offer little to no incentive for a man to marry them. No man wants to emotionally invest in a screechy, whiny, abusive, awful feminist, the vast majority of women out there, who offers little to the household and is incentivized by the government and insurance companies to divorce him or slowly poison him through her mediocre cooking after they have kids. And obviously, I'm not talking about all women. So the risk is uh, just too high for false abuse accusations and uh, court settlements that, that always favor the woman, and so on. For example, an acquaintance of mine is married to a woman who is absolutely useless around the house, doesn't work, is action-packed with mental disorders, and she even hits him in front of the children. And once, only once, when he dared to half-heartedly complain, she said that if he ever dared to leave her, she'd accuse him of things and he'd never see his children again. But I'll make a long video on this uh, TLC Jerry Springer case and others like it soon because I see them everywhere. So for a modern man to marry, the risk is just too high and the juice is not really worth the squeeze. And sex-wise, a single man can be more than fine without a wife, I'm telling you. If he's a better male, he can abundantly satisfy his needs with porn or robots. And if he's an alpha, he can easily have non-committed sex with all those women who postpone marriage as much as possible before they become leftovers to eventually find a cuck to take them on his back. And the alphas can always pick up after those women divorce. Super. To wrap up, MGTOW is the default and women have the burden of proof as to why men need to be in a relationship. Modern feminized society doesn't even bother to make a case as to why a man needs a wife. And no, most men don't have a desperate need to have a child. That's a woman's privilege. And on this note, be careful of men who desperately need children. They have issues they wish to impose on someone else. Seriously now. So, not only does society offer little incentive for men to marry, but most women think they are somehow entitled to a manslave. I think women need men more than men need women. That has always been the case, especially now that the sex industry and casual sex thing are so accessible. Hyperfeminism has destroyed women's lives. Congrats, I hope you're proud of yourselves. Peace!